So here we get started with day nine of the kitchen remodel process. Previous day, Neil finished up tiling the, uh, the kitchen floor and the grouting uh, will follow soon. Uh, also, we got this upper cabinet section figured out. I got all of the uh, upper cabinets all uh, positioned and uh, these rails you see on the walls uh, had to be all put together within about a 32nd of an inch um, of a threshold to make sure that the all of the upper cabinets will be supported uh, both by the railing on the wall and I'll be able to screw them all together so they'll all uh, connect and support each other. Uh, so I knew I had uh, Ernie and Eddie coming to help out this day um, and I didn't really have any more of the IKEA cabinets for them to uh, the, the frames for them to put together so um, I thought I'd go ahead and have them get started on uh, painting the room. Um, actually the first thing we get uh, going here is we want to do some drywall sanding so uh, we've got uh, Eddie coming in here in a second uh, to do some drywall sanding on the soffit box uh, to get it nice and smooth so we can uh, paint that. Um, here you see Ernie going around and uh, applying the blue tape around the edges of the room um, in preparation for painting and uh, Neil is uh, prepping the floor here to make sure we don't uh, we don't get paint and uh, and or drywall sand on the floor and make a, a mess on the tiles um, make it harder to do uh, grouting later. So um, the previous day I had gone to Home Depot and gotten this uh, blue tape and I hadn't been paying attention and grabbed uh, the scotch blue tape that's uh, I guess for uh, delicate surfaces or, or something like that and uh, anyway this uh, this tape is uh, pretty crappy for uh, for putting up on walls and especially ceilings um, as you can see, uh, Neil's going around the room right now because uh, the blue tape is falling down as uh, as we're progressing here. And uh, you can see here over the next uh, couple seconds the blue tape on the back wall here peeling off. And uh, pretty much in all sections, the blue tape starts falling off. So all of the initial work of, of taping had to be uh, pretty much redone here. Um, I had to run out to Home Depot and get um, another six-pack of the the good stuff, the Scotch, the Scotch uh, normal painter's tape. Uh, so make sure if you're uh, taping a ceiling or walls like this, you get the right kind of tape. Um, here you see, as, as quickly as Neil can go around the room, the uh, tape is falling down in other sections. <laughs> so uh, here you see Neil and I just putting down some plastic wrap, uh, prepping for paint. Um, Eddie is finishing up here, sanding the uh, soffit box and getting it nice and smooth so we can go ahead and paint that. And uh, Ernie's helping out with uh, taping as well. So we can go ahead and get started with paint. Um, yeah, again, I, I was originally thinking uh, I would be painting the kitchen as one of the very last steps of the project, but uh, in hindsight, I'm glad uh, that we had some extra time with these guys this day and that I went ahead and just had them uh, work on painting um, while Neil and I worked on other stuff. Um, my real priority for this day was to uh, start getting the rest of the uh, base cabinets in place. Uh, there you saw I had my uh, my laser level out there. I was just checking the uh, the divergence in the floor. I knew there was about uh, you know a small uh, downslope going towards the uh, dishwasher and the edge of the uh, the base cabinets from the end of the peninsula but I just wanted to double check and, and see exactly how much it was and I figured it was about the three quarters of an inch downslope um, so I just wanted to account for that in uh, how I put together the uh, base cabinets in this area uh, exactly how high I mounted the rail on the wall and the adjustable legs um, so I wanted to make sure I have enough space on all of the adjustable legs, uh, both at the end of the peninsula and on the base cabinets at the uh, wall, um, so that I could make all of the cabinets level across, you know, across the room, um, uh, and adjusting for the the slight slope downward um, of the floor. So uh, Eddie was painting. I just jumped in here. I think it was right after lunch. I just wanted to get this area finished up. Uh, with paint so I could work underneath this area. Uh, so I jumped in and, and hit this area. Uh, we, we chose this sort of uh, top top color, I guess is what it's called, or uh, I don't know, whatever you call that color. It's a nice color. We like how it looked when, uh, when the kitchen was finished. Um, so here you see me um, just checking for studs on the wall uh, where the base cabinets are going to go. 
and uh, uh, drilling in a couple anchors and uh, into the studs for these uh, brackets. The way the IKEA base cabinets work is um, you go ahead and you mount these uh, rails on the walls um, that the base cabinets attach onto and then uh, they also rest on these adjustable feet uh, too and they, they the base cabinets lock into these rails too um, once you have them in place and you're you're sure they're in the exact right position so here I'm just uh, attaching the uh, these rails to the walls um, cutting out a little sheetrock here to um, more fine-tune this section where all the plumbing comes through uh, there's four uh, plumbing lines that come through here for the sink hot cold uh, reverse osmosis water filter and the dishwasher and then there's also the uh, garbage disposal electric line and the the drain line for the sink um, so I'm just uh, mudding that little area in here um, you see I have on the right I have the uh, the 18 inch base cabinet in place there uh, next to that there's a 24 inch open space for a dishwasher and then next to that's going to be the sink cabinet so you see uh, Neil here is um, going off to the back and forth to the chop saw and uh, taking this uh, baseboard trim. We got a new baseboard trim and we had painted a couple days earlier. Um, so he's uh, cutting all the baseboard trim to size and uh, mitering the corners uh, for all the new baseboard trim that's going to go around the kitchen. So here you see we've blocked out. We have the, uh, uh, the end cabinet and the dishwasher in place and now um, we're getting the sink cabinet, um, making uh, cutting the holes in the back of the sink cabinet so we can uh, slide that into place and uh, just making some adjustments here with Ernie. Um, Ernie's also a plumber so um, he was great to have on this project, helped out with uh, making the connections to the dishwasher and uh, also helped out with the uh, gas line connections too. So you see uh, Eddie's making good progress around the room. Uh, painting the whole room and uh, Neil's uh, yeah, working on the baseboard trim getting all those cuts made I think he had to also run out to a tile store this day too and get some some uh, additional supplies so here you see I've, uh, I'm just uh, attaching this baseboard trim in in this section and caulking it so it's all uh, gonna be uh, somewhat watertight at least behind the uh, dishwasher and sink area So here I'm taking some measurements and just uh, comparing with the uh, the plan I'd made in Photoshop, making sure everything's on track and uh, at the right distances. And this uh, this cabinet here that's laying down on its side is the uh, the corner cabinet that's going to turn into the peninsula that goes out. So here we're making some additional cuts in the sink cabinet. Um, for the dishwasher drain line. And getting that dishwasher all figured out as far as the electrical. Um, So at this point now, um, Ernie's uh, moving on. He's um, going to cut and solder some new connections on for the plumbing here. Um, so we have uh, four individual uh, shutoff valves for the sink, hot, cold, the water filter, and the dishwasher. And here I'm, uh, I'm grabbing my gas pieces and laying out the uh, gas lines how I want them for uh, the stove top. So the gas line comes out of the wall back here. And uh, I've got this all laid out here now. I think I there's a little break there. I ran out to Home Depot and got some additional stuff. <coughs> so here uh, Eddie is uh, painting the soffit box. And I'm just making some final measurements for the uh, exact positioning of this, uh, of where this corner base cabinet is going to connect to uh, the sink cabinet. I just have to make sure it's uh, it's right on because we have a a series of cabinets that run along the backside of the peninsula as well, 
and uh, they have an exact um, amount of inches that they have to be across the back side. So I have to make sure uh, the distance from the wall for this corner cabinet uh, matches up with that. And here we're just getting the uh, this corner cabinet all level. And we have this 12 inch uh, sort of spacer cabinet here uh, in between where the stove top cabinet's gonna go. And this is where the gas line comes up. And there's a uh, shut off valve there and the regulator that came with the stove top um, and then this flexible gas line and I've uh, I've already pre-fitted all this stuff uh, beforehand and made sure I got all the uh, correct components uh, for the stove top so here it's getting late in the evening it's uh probably somewhere around nine o'clock or so at this point. Um, and we're just sort of cleaning up. Uh, Neil's taking down some of the the blue tape here. And I think uh, I start going around here and doing some touch up paint work uh, for just little areas that were missed. And the initial painting, yep. You notice that uh, air filter on the table there, uh, on the folding table, that was an air filter I picked up uh, specifically for this job knowing that there was going to be a lot of uh, demolition dust and paint fumes and and stuff like that um, and if it's, it's all the company's called when uh, w-e-n has a really good uh, inexpensive air filter that uh, that made it a much more breathable and uh, nice environment for this whole entire project so here you see uh, Neil's laid out uh, the baseboard trim just so we could get an idea uh, and also Neil finished tiling the bathroom.